I can tell. C. Hi. Nice. C as well. So they told uh, Dr. Gilmore told me you drank a little bit of uh, uh, tea this morning. A tiny little bit. Do you know what time it was? Just you know what time it was though. It was first thing in the morning? Yeah. Seven, eight o'clock. Seven. Yes. Before I took Abby to school, I'm Jill. I'm Jack's I, wife. Oh, right. Or, I call him Jack, but it's John. Okay. Yeah. We're yeah. Jack and Jill. Yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. So the main reason why I'm just saying that is just because um, normally anesthesia wants about six hours uh, from when you drank something last. Um, but we'll be able okay. to get you in the operating room about an hour from now, so it'll be perfect. So yeah. just, just tell them something. See, okay. and you're all cute okay. too, like Dr. Ahmad. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I love Dr. Ahmad. Yeah, he's, he's, he's good. Unfortunately, he's out of town. Um, I never met him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's yeah. a younger bird. Younger. No, I am. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm like him in the second gun. skin here. Yes. Um, okay, so what I want to do, they don't have any marking pens here, but so, uh, can I see the wound here? Yeah, have and a look. My husband we'll did is... some dots on it a few nights ago. He's been dressing it for. Okay. Alright, good. Not too bad. Alright, so here's the kicker, alright? Okay. Whenever we take care of these things, alright, the okay. the ultimate thing ends up being is you gotta understand it's a dirty wound. Okay? Yeah. I mean it was already infected. Yeah. So ideally the the problem with these things is that these are more what we call an inclusion cyst, alright? And what it is is it's where your skin cells end up migrating down into these pores and start lining the pore, okay? okay. Just like your skin sheds and goes out in the skin in the, the, the world. Unfortunately, the skin cells that are inside this inclusion cyst, sh they shed, but then they stay inside there. Yeah. So that's what makes them bigger, 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 and then bacteria gets in them, and that's when it gets hot and red and swollen. Yeah. It pops, drains, and then it all comes back again. Yeah. And the reason why it keeps coming back is it's because that the wall or the capsule is covered with those skin cells. Now, if you don't get the capsule out, then you just you will keep on having these, okay? So ideally, my name of the game is to get the capsule out. All right. Ideally, what this said is that the problem with this is, in whenever I make try to get the capsule out, obviously it's going to be the size of the actual, how big it was before it popped. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So when I make the incision, I got to make an incision, and then I got to go underneath the skin and the fatty tissues, and I got to shell shell this whole tissue out. Yeah. Okay. The issue with this is that whenever I do this, I like to close it. Now the reason why I told them that I wanted you to stay for a week is because of this one reason, is that ultimately I'm closing a dirty wound you have about a 30% chance of this thing opening back up, okay? Right. The good thing about it is if it opens back up, you're just gonna be where you're at right now, where you're gonna have to pack it and let it heal by secondary intention, meaning okay. heal from bottom up. Yeah. So that'll end up taking about three to four weeks of you having to pack this, kind of exactly the way you're doing it right yeah. now. Yeah, okay. I like to close it, because I want to give you that 70% chance of potentially having this thing heal within a week and not have to open and close anything, okay? Brilliant. So ideally what's going to happen is when you go home after this, I'm going to give you an antibiotic for about a week, okay? Okay. And you're going to be hanging here, and you're going to, the ultimate thing, what I need you to do is I need you to call me if it starts getting red hot and swollen again. Okay. Because if it does, all I have to do is pop a stitch and then we can drain everything and then unfortunately we just have to do it through the packing route and do it the secondary intention route. Okay. But I want to give you the chance, so potential to not have any problems and never have to do any other wound care on this, okay? Uh, okay. So ideally with everything said, what's going to happen is I'm going to shell that tissue out, we're going to close everything with sutures and there's going to be a suture that I'm going to put in there that's going to be a, a waterproof dress. I mean, it's, it's going to be it's going to be right underneath the skin, it's going to be a subcutaneous um, uh, suture and okay. then we're going to cover it with a waterproof dress. Okay? And then we'll okay. give you antibiotics and then you'll go on your way. And then you're gonna call me if it gets red hot and swollen. If it doesn't, great, you can go back. Okay, okay? in a week. Uh, if it does, and then you call me, we open it up just slightly, and we just do that in the clinic, and then we'll pack it, and then you'll be done. Okay. Okay? Sounds good. So I'm hoping we don't I hope you don't get that secondary infection, but we'll see. Okay? I'm gonna be praying. I'm strong. Yeah. Yeah. I'm strong. Okay. So I'm let me just make sure the operating room is good for us to go. Um, and then we'll get you open. Okay. Okay. So you'll move from here and then we'll move you over to the other area and then we'll get you going. Okay. Fabulous. All right. Okay. All right. Nice meeting you. Yes. Lovely to meet you. So I should.